This is Pastor Tim coming to you from Central Texas from the churches of Bend and Lomita United Methodist Churches. So uh, we're here in the Hill Country and talking about the Bible. We have uh, had several series of, of the great themes of the Bible and then we did what the books of the Bible were. Now we're talking about stories of the Bible. And one of the uh, great things about the, our Christian, Jewish Christian history is that it's full of stories. Uh, it's not so much a book of theology or a book of history as a book of stories to relate to how God relates to us. Uh, so it's great to hear the stories. And we're, we're talking about uh, Jacob and Esau today. Uh, Jacob and Esau were in that long line of, uh, of uh, the chosen people. Uh, they were twins. Uh, when they were born, uh, they lived up to their namesake. Uh, Jacob is uh, called Rabbi. That's what his mean, name means in Hebrew. And uh, Esau means hairy. Uh, Esau came out first and he was hairy. Uh, and he spent most of his life out in the outdoors. He lived up to his, uh, his beginning. He liked to hunt and fish and, uh, and he didn't like to stay around the tent and the family. Uh, Jacob was uh, called Grabby because he was born second, uh, but he grabbed on to his brother's heel and, and tried to pull and came out second uh, because he, if he was born first, he got a, uh, the elder brother's share of the inheritance, which is uh, a double portion. So for the two of them, that means that uh, Esau is going to get two-thirds of the inheritance and Jacob just one-third. Uh, Jacob uh, spent most of his time with his mama. Uh, he'd like to stay at home. He'd like to be around her. Uh, and so you can see how Jacob and Esau were, uh, were rather conflicted. Uh, what happened was that uh, Esau came home hungry. He had been hunting and hadn't had anything to eat. And, and uh, Jacob had uh, cooked up a pot of stew. And it smelled so good that Esau would said he'd give anything to, to have some of that stew. And Jacob said, how about your birthright? And uh, Esau didn't think very far ahead. He didn't care very much except for the needs of the moment. And so he said, sure. Uh, but then, the, then Jacob has, has conned his brother. Uh, but now he's got to con his father because his father has to give him uh, his blessing. Uh, in order for him to receive the inheritance. And so uh, he waits so his father is unable to see and unable to get up and get around anymore. And he goes into him and puts a, uh, a animal skin on his arm uh, and puts some scent uh, of, of animals and dirt and things so he'd smell like his brother. And he went into his father and put out the hand with the fur on it and, uh, and received his father's blessing. Well, after he'd conned his father and conned his brother, uh, he was afraid that uh, things would not go well. Uh, so he took off running. Uh, so God's going to use Jacob. Uh, God's going to come to him in ways that he doesn't even know. Um, and he he's, will struggle himself uh, in being a con. Um, he goes and he meets with his uh, some family. Uh, he goes to where run away from his his, uh, his home uh, and meets uh, uh, Rachel and uh, Leah. Uh, excuse me, Rachel and Leah, and uh, he falls in love with Rachel. Uh, he wants to marry her, and so his uh, future father-in-law Laban says, uh, well, you can marry her if you will work for seven years uh, to, uh, to get that blessing. And so he uh, worked for seven years, and then the day of the wedding comes. And uh, the father has, has fooled him because Leah is the oldest and should get married first. And so he puts a bridal veil on her and goes through the ceremony and he discovers that he married Leah, uh, who he didn't want. And he goes to his father and complains, father-in-law and complains, and his father-in-law says, well, if you work for seven more years, 
uh, where you can have Rachel. So he decided there's nothing he can do, but he works for seven more years. And so the con man gets conned. Uh, and that's how he ends up with Leah and Rachel as his wives. You have to remember that in the biblical times they had multiple wives was not uh, not uncommon, uh, especially when men were short, they're short of men. Uh, they would marry, marry multiple wives in order to continue the tribe, to, to get, continue the nation. Uh, so the con man gets con, he uh, gets his comeuppance, uh, but there's gonna be redemption. Uh, so we're gonna see that in the second half of the story. Uh, see you next time.